Look at this day. I don't even have to wet a line yet and I can already tell you it's gonna be a challenging day out here but um, basically what we got going on is we had a huge storm system roll through last night. It had been like 80, 90 degrees every single day and uh, the high for today is like 59. It's a super windy west wind, the wind switched directions and it's raining pretty much all day long. Um, but that's all right. So we're gonna try to be walleye fishing today. Actually, we are gonna be walleye fishing today. We're gonna try to be catching some walleyes. I can tell you it's gonna be a grind. Um, I haven't been on this lake in probably a week. Crazy wind right now gusting around. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna basically be talking about walleye fishing and how um, basically different things affect the bite. You know, we always get a question, when is the best time to be walleye fishing? There is no real cut in stone answer to that, um, but what a great day to talk about how weather, weather conditions and uh, changes throughout kind of the course of a season affect walleye. So stay tuned, I'm probably gonna have to roll the chesty. The big camera's already getting wet from the rain. Uh, but stay tuned, we're gonna grind it out, catch some walleyes on a tough day, and uh, hopefully learn something. Stay tuned. Oh, Bob, we're going down. I'll try to talk as loud as I can here. Fish on and it feels good. I actually just got smacked. Pop jigging. And uh, for whatever reason, he did not hook up. Here we go. Nice little eater walleye there. First one of the day. There we go. Beauty. Pop him off. Awesome little fish there, huh? Let him go. Whoa, bobber down. That feels good. Doesn't feel too bad. I'll tell you what, having a tough time getting bit on a jig. But the slip bobber is coming through. Sometimes it's just a kind of a slower deal you gotta do. There we go. Another nice one on the slip bobber and leech. Not a giant. They're eating these good though, I can tell you that. It's not hooked super bad. One actually quick tip you can do, if you do get a deep hooked fish, basically what I like to do a lot of times is I actually come in through the gill and all I do is take that hook and I just turn it out like that, all right? And it just pops right out. No harm to that fish. He's in good condition to go. See you later, buddy. Off he goes. Hook up. I got so much slack in my line here. <laughs> I don't even know how I felt that that jig get popped. All right, we got him up top. It is a it's about an 18 inch walleye. I'll take it. That was a long ways out there with a lot, a lot, a lot of slack on there. But I've actually had a few bites on the jerk minnow. I've had so much slack, I just couldn't even catch up to him, but it's that little quarter on swim bait head. Nice chunker, about 18, 17 inch walleye. Let him go. See you later, buddy. All right, let's talk about weather conditions, weather changes, weather patterns, how that affects fish and all that kind of good stuff. I would say for the most part, I probably pay less attention to current weather um, you know, as far as planning out a bite goes, then probably most people. I put very little weight on that just because number one, I spend almost every day on the water and it's kind of, uh, I guess number two, which kind of leads me to the next point here. There's so much little different things going on throughout the course of a day, throughout the course of a week um, that, you know, ultimately a lot of these things almost just, it almost doesn't even matter, right? 
it's almost like you just you got to be out there you got to be fishing and one big thing that trumps weather is knowing where fish are right a lot of times you can gauge you know whether the weather's the same for the whole week or you know it changes every single day you can gauge that fish's activity level based on how many times you have to put your bait through fish to get bit right or how many times you have to change presentation throughout the course of a day throughout the course of an hour throughout the course of just casting at one school of fish to make something happen right and you know that's kind of how I think about a bite as you know very good um, kind of you know in the middle or very negative right obviously if that bites very good you can probably put a number of different presentations in front of those fish and have them bite if that bites kind of neutral um, then you know you might be able to catch those fish pretty good but it might be very dialed in on one specific thing you know if that bites very negative you might have the right thing on and you might have to put it in front of a fish over and over and over and over um, and that's kind of a lot of what I'm seeing today I can I can situationally get on fish you know and fish a bait that fits that situation but I have to put it in front of that fish a lot of times to get a bite um, which is exactly kind of what I'm seeing so far today and uh, that's kind of the deal now we'll cut back to like yesterday for example actually the last week's been extremely hot and uh, we've had a nice wind each day and the fishing has been very very good and it's been a lot of that 85 90 degree weather and water's warming up it's early summer you know, we got water temps that are in the mid 60s so this this heat spell kind of shot these fish out of um, you know kind of like that late spring and they're kind of you know they're all excited the water's warming up perch are all over in the weeds life's good to be a walleye right now Last night we had this huge system blow through, dropped the temperature like 30, 35 degrees. We had a ton of rain and you know, is this cold front affecting fishing? I don't know. I, I put less confidence in saying that than I would in the fact that just it was in a severe weather change, right? Anytime you have these severe weather changes, whether you're fishing in the fall and it's 35 every day, and then you have a day that's you know 69 degrees out and flat calm, right? That day is gonna be more challenging than your other days probably. Those fish are used to that downward cycle of, of cold, and then you get that super hot day, you know, like late in October in November. And uh, anytime you get a huge abrupt change, you probably see good fishing on the front of it, probably not so much on the back side of it, right? Especially because, you know, I don't pay attention to the barometer like a lot of guys do. Um, but the, when the barometer does huge spikes all over the place, big swings, it's not good. When you have crazy weather systems coming in like hour after hour or day after day, it doesn't allow those fish to really set up on something and stay there, right? And, you know, one reason I love summer so much is because you have a lot of the same weather, which keeps those fish in the same spots for the longest period of time out of any season. Spring's generally very volatile time of year to fish um, that early fall period can be very tough to fish because you have so much changing weather and changing water temperature whenever you keep the water temperature and the weather the same for the longest period of time it you know that bites basically the best right and that's the way I like to think about uh, uh, you know kind of how weather affects fish a lot We actually are just going all over lure-wise today. But it is what it is. We definitely got the right fish on here. Where is my slip bobber at? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, all right. This fish doesn't feel very big. But we got a slip bobber down. That feels better. We got two fish on here. I don't know what the other one is. This, uh, this is a walleye. All right, so we got we got little 14 inch walleye here. I was hoping this was gonna be a bigger fish because I already have another fish on. I just didn't wanna let this one, the slip bobber, eat it too much. All right, is this fish still on? Oh my gosh, it, it is still on. All right, a little nicer walleye. <laughs> Two at a time. Running two rods. This was actually casting a spinner in a leech, which we'll do a video on that sometime in the future, but not big ones. There's about 16 inch. He's kind of got a messed up tail too. We'll let him go, but we're catching fish. Tough day catching fish. And one thing you see happen a lot on these kind of huge storm system days or big cold front is that you do catch a lot of males. It's kind of a lot of those smaller fish and you know the females are right there. I've been catching them here for weeks. And a lot of times this is just kind of the way it rolls. You end up with a lot of those cookie cutter males 
um, in these in these big cold fronts. Definitely larger, older fish are much more kind of susceptible and, and I would say are generally more negative out of a big weather change. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is some of these smaller weather changes and uh, kind of the day to day and how weather changes fish activity and location kind of, you know, in different times of year on different bodies of water. And, you know, there's so many variables, it's obviously just incredibly overwhelming to even really think about. Um, so a lot of times it's just kind of, you know, you go out fishing and you see where fish are and what they eat and stuff like that. But, um, you know, like for example, you know, what's a good walleye day in the spring? Generally spring fishing is shallow water fishing for most of us. A lot of that three feet to like eight, nine feet type stuff. And, you know, I fish a lot of clear water very clear water you can see the bottom in those depths and you know what's kind of your ideal day there well it, if I could just you know pick one day to have every day of the spring it'd be a warming trend the water's warming up it'd be a little bit of overcast and a south wind and uh, you know that's the, that you know cloud cover obviously makes fish more comfortable being shallow a little bit of chop on the water makes fish more comfortable to be shallow and they're happy up there and the warming trend obviously fish like that we like happy fish now let's kind of kick it over to like you know, the middle of the summer, for example, right? And, uh, you know, there's always a couple different bites that go on on a lot of these lakes. And, you know, two patterns I fish a lot is one is an open water trolling pattern where you're sticking baits down like 17 to 25 feet over like 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 feet of water. You're trolling and catching fish. What's the best day for this? Well, a huge misconception that guys think is that number one, clear water is an early morning and, and late in the day bite. Not the case at all. My favorite summer days for running this pattern are flat, calm, very hot and very sunny out, right? These fish, it pulls a lot of life up high in the water column. You can imagine all the perch sucking up to the, you know, closer to the surface in those kind of conditions. You can imagine all the bug life is kind of, you know, there's a lot of bug life that happens on sunny days. And it makes that open water trolling bite very good under those conditions. So, you know, you can see how it's kind of season to season, um, you know, throughout, you know, depending on which kind of lake you're fishing on, it all changes. Now, let's say it's the middle of summer and you get a good cloud cover day with a wind, right? Well, a lot of times what this does to fish is it pulls them back into a lot of these rock bars or rock piles or big structural elements that were trolling around in the middle of summer. So there's a lot of kind of ins and outs to this kind of stuff. Now, let's go to like a very stained, very shallow water system in the spring, right? Um, where that water is a little bit dirtier and uh, uh, those fish can be very shallow under very sunny conditions and still be in a good mood. Now, like a lot of times your best days fishing, those kind of deals is a very sunny day with a little bit of chop, a little bit of chop to give those fish, you know, a little bit of more comfort and cover being very shallow. And then that sun just super cooking those shallow waters and warming stuff up super fast. So there's a lot of very small things that kind of change fishing depending on what body of water you're on but I hate overthinking this kind of stuff and I get asked the question so many times what's a good day for this well it's the east wind will the fish bite when I go fishing like there's certain days like this right where we had the same weather for a week and a huge front came in I knew today was going to be kind of a grinder and a relatively slow day to make fish bite overall but that's for a couple of different reasons it's been tough to get on a lot of fish because a lot of times when you have this boom huge sudden weather swing it kind of pushes fish around and number two it definitely makes them negative when you have a swing this severe from 90 degrees and sunny out to you know, a high of 58 59 degrees and uh, windy out and cold and rainy and stuff like that this is a big swing and I knew this was gonna be a tougher day right but besides that thinking about different other you know variables and factors it's just too overwhelming it's too much to think about the same thing stays a tree no matter where you go you start out by trying to find fish right and it's more important to be doing that than to be thinking about oh it's gonna be slow today oh it should be super good today because there's a lot of times you think it should be good and it's not very good so like I said in the previous kind of informational clip I filmed there's two different ways I like or there's kind of three different settings I like to think about as far as you know how good is the fishing that day is it good enough for when I find them I can find a lot of them and I can throw whatever I want and catch them and uh, you know number two is it good enough where when I find those fish and I'm fishing for them it's kind of like one or two presentations maybe and I kind of got to work a little bit or is it you know option three where you're fishing very negative fish where you basically you find those fish and you got to make cast after cast after cast after cast with the right presentation to get fit so don't overcomplicate weather it's ultimately it's always going to do something to fish right are we going to know what that is most of the time probably not but have faith in what you're seeing on electronics and the baits you're using and that's ultimately day in day out what's going to make you successful not trying to pre-predict how these fish are going to react to different kind of weather conditions well for our unknown number of presentations today, I have now caught one strolling. And it feels like a good one.
fishing when you're doing 25 different things trying to get bites, but kind of get one doing this, one doing that, and that's just kind of how it is today. I'm actually fishing a big flat here. The fish are just really scattered, so instead of, instead of trying to hone in on them, I figured I'd just throw out three rods and kind of rake it quick, and there we go. Nice little, I don't know, 19 inch fish. We'll let them go. All right, guys, well, that is going to kind of wrap it up for us today. Um, you know, definitely a grinder of a day. I definitely knew today was going to be a tough one. Massive, massive weather change today. But we fished a variety of different baits, kind of depending how fish were set up. You know, if they're real tight together, I try to slip bob or jig them. If they're real spread out, we do the, the crawler harness with the leech on it deal and either troll or cast. And we caught fish doing a lot of different things, which you know, we did not catch a lot of fish, but, uh, you know, we did get the job done. And, uh, you know, this video is mainly about, you know, what I think of weather, how fish, you know, change, stuff like that. There's so many different little variables out there. You do not want to overcomplicate it and be thinking, try to pre-predict everything that's going to happen or where those fish are going to be. Rely on your electronics, go out, see where those fish are, see where they're set up. Fish baits that are, you know, fit accordingly to that situation. And, uh, you know, some days, like today, you got to put that bait through there a lot of times. Other days, you know, when the bite's good, I like to think about it. If you put the right bait in front of a fish that's feeding, he's going to bite. So, you know, kind of go, go off based off, uh, you know, those kind of two ends of the spectrum and kind of tweak it in from there and you guys will be successful. But I appreciate you guys watching. Um, you know, this is just kind of my take. Nothing, none of this stuff's actually set in stone. There's no rules to how weather affects fish or what, what's the right bait to use, all that kind of stuff. But I do appreciate you guys watching. If nothing else, hopefully it gets some ideas in your head. So thanks for watching. If you're not yet, please subscribe. I'm going to a different lake that's hopefully fishing better today and uh, get another video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.